Hi, I'm Chong Yuan. I will present Human Nerve. We are solving a problem of free viewpoint rendering. Our goal is to render a moving person at any capture moment from after viewpoint. This video shows one of our results. It is a long-standing problem. State-of-the-art technique usually can render high-fidelity result but rely on expensive lab setup and multiple synchronized cameras. Here, we want to take only a monocular video as input, but still produce high-quality field viewpoint experience. The challenge is limited observations. In a monocular video, for each frame, only half body of a subject can be seen by one camera. The other half is completely unobserved. However, in our scenario, we need a subject to be viewed in all directions. Our key insight is, since the person is moving, the unobserved body regions in one frame may be visible in other frames, which can be very useful. To fuse these observations, we define two spaces. The first is an observation space where we directly see the subject with different body poses. The other one is a canonical space where the subject has a fixed predefined body pose. Our idea is, by solving for a mapping between the two spaces, we can aggregate pixels from different frames to rebuild a human model in the canonical space. Now, let's check out the details. For rebuilding a human model, we use a volumetric approach where the subject is represented as a volume encoded by an MLP. To render an image for comparing against input, we volume render the subject in the observation space but bend the rays with the learned motion field to the canonical space where we query sample color and the density from the MLP. As a result, we are solving for a coherent canonical appearance. To solve for the motion field, we decompose it into two parts. The first is skeletal rigid motions. We ask the motion to be a weighted sum of body bone movement. To this end, we detect 3D human pose from which we compute bone movement as the motion basis. We then only focus on optimizing the weight. Here, we colorize the weights to show the motion influence from various bones. The second is non-rigid motion for modeling wrinkle deformation or closest motions. We represent them as an offset of 3D position. Both motion weight and non-rigid motion are represented as valence. We additionally optimize for the body poses. This video shows how the pose is corrected. Finally, to achieve robust view generalization, we enforce cores to find optimization on non-rigid motion by applying truncate hand window to the input of the valent MLP. This animation shows how we increase the window size as the optimization proceeds. Now, let's see the result. Here we evaluate our method on a YouTube video and self-capture data. Notice how the view consistency is maintained, as well as how the details of unseen body regions are reconstructed successfully. Here we show the canonical appearance and the motion weights we learned. We also evaluate our method on the public ZJU mocap dataset where we use frames from a single camera as input. Notice the wrinkle movement, closest deformation, and the view consistency. We show a comparison with related works. This is the input image. On the left is the result from neural body. On the right is our method. The open issues include we assume many human segmentations, fairly diffuse lighting, and post-dependent non-rigid motion. Finally, we render the subject from the opposite viewpoint, which is completely unobserved. Thanks for your listening.